Hi, and welcome to part five, equity and health. This is the final section in module three under the burden of eye disease. In this concluding section of module three, we've now come full circle. We should understand that whilst life expectancy in Australia is among the highest in the world, people can still die at an older age, but also be living longer with disability. We're also aware that there are some groups within our community that, as a result of things like disadvantage, are less healthy than others. And as a result of this disadvantage, irrespective of the underlying reasons, they may not have the same access to healthcare services. This brings us now to the question of equity in health. And whilst references and resources on this topic often relate to a broad range of health conditions, we should consider this topic specifically in relation to eye health care. Paragraph 2 from the article by Leader in the Medical Journal of Australia discusses the ideology of access to health care and compares ideology held by many Americans compared with Australians. Leader also reminds us that, and I quote, not all societies and not all people within a society share a common view of what is fair. So your task is, after reading this paragraph, consider your own stance or ideology in terms of access to health care. Do you agree with the statement, equal access to, e to equal care for equal need? Why or why not? And secondly, Leader offers some explanations as to why some Australians do not have equitable access to good health care. What are these factors? And your final task for Module 3 is to consider what would happen in the event that rural or remote or Indigenous patients with eye diseases, for example, cataract, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy, were not able to access treatment and health services due to their disadvantage. What would be the impact on their ocular condition, their vision and resultant burden to society in terms of direct and indirect costs? Hugh Taylor's article is an excellent resource for answering this question. So what's next? Well, this is the end of Module 3. Module 4 will give you an understanding of the healthcare workforce with specific emphasis on orthoptics. This will be particularly relevant to you because you will soon be part of that workforce.